What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin Gotti for Justin Gotti TV. Thank you so much for checking out tonight's video. I am now back. I am now starting my videos for the 2014 MLB trade deadline. This has been probably one of the greatest MLB trade deadlines that I have ever seen in my entire life. You know, you know, last year was a very great one, but this year completely blew it out of the water. As you guys can see, I'm going to be talking a little bit of Arizona Diamondbacks in this one. I did. I was a part of the Department of Defense or offense for um, uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks. That was Eric Burns outfield and we all call that the um the Department of Offense or Defense. Um, that was one of his, one of the big things out there in Arizona when Eric Burns were, was playing. So I decided that it would be really necessary if I wore this t-shirt. As we're here talking about the trade that went down between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Yankees. As you don't really see these two teams making a whole lot of deals, whether it's minor league or you know any of you know above that kind of sorts. You barely see these team, two teams play. The last time these two teams they made history with Mario Rivera blowing the save, uh, with Luis Gonzalez getting that game-winning RBI to win. The World Series back in 2001, but now that you look at it, you know, just just uh, almost about a decade later, we are now at the 2014 MLB trade deadline, and the New York Yankees acquired third baseman Martin Prado, along with Martin Prado, um, the New York Yankees have also gave up, you know, a couple, uh, a prospect catcher, Peter O'Brien, and, and a player to be named later, or even cash considerations. Now, for a lot of people who do not know a, a whole lot about me, I'm going to start making a lot of videos, because I start saying, you know, if you don't know a whole lot about me, you know, I'm going to start going in here and start giving you guys, you know, some of my favorite Major League players to watch, and Martin Prado was one of them. I've always gone to an Arizona Diamondbacks game wanting to meet this guy A in person and also trying to get his autograph but you know what that will never come unless the Yankees come to town and you know this is an excellent pickup by the New York Yankees yes this is and has not been the season for Martin Prado um, he was originally traded from the Atlanta Braves over to the Arizona Diamondbacks in that big blockbuster deal that sent Chris Johnson um over to the Atlanta Braves along with the doors of more players are part of that package. Prada was brought over, Randall, Randall Delgado was brought over, and everything seemed like Arizona was going it was going in their favor. You know, Chris Johnson, after having such a big year last year, he pretty much, you know, went down a little bit and started getting a little bit more quiet now, but he's still a productive third baseman in this league. But Martin Prado is very versatile right now, and he can play multiple positions, And but he's been primarily been used as the third baseman over there in Arizona. This is a team that's going into that rebuilding phase, as today, not only did the uh, Diamondbacks trade Martin Prado, the also traded Gerardo Parra. We'll get in that deal here in about a half an hour or so, but the uh, Martin Prado going over the Yankees. They uh, um, designated second baseman Ryan Roberts for assignment. Um, that's end up you know clear roster space up for Martin Prado. There's a lot of you know question marks with the Yankees over at third base. They, they decided to uh, trade away uh, Solarte in order for Chase Headley. Uh, Martin Prado will likely end up playing second base because Chase Headley will be their everyday third baseman. Um, Alex Rodriguez, the team is possibly end up you know setting up to uh, um, move on from him. Um, another uh, scenario could be that if when A Rod returns next season. Is he going to be on the Yankees or is he going to play a designated hitter? That's still that legitimate option, but the New York Yankees decided to go out here in this trade deadline and end up acquiring shortstop Steven Drew. They also got Martin Prado, so the Yankees have been very, very busy. You know, Steven Drew, how often do you see two rivals that honestly hate each other in the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees and agreeing in a deal that would send you know a package of players over you know to each other's squad? But it was done. It, everything was great. The Yankees, they also uh, claim Esmeal Rogers off waivers from the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, they also got Steven Drew. You know, I'm, I'm going to be getting more into those deals, you know, as, you know, times goes by. But Martin Prado, I can literally see him playing over at second base with, you know, the designated of uh, Ryan Roberts, you know, Chase Headley is going to be over at third. Steven Drew is going to be that bench piece. He has not been, you know, phenomenal at all this year. Um, it's kind of bizarre that you, you really see this because Steven Drew was a guy who held out for the, a very long time this year. Um, he ends up signing with the Boston Red Sox. But, you know, he's coming over to the Yankee squad where they really need some, you know, that extra pop on the bench. I mean, Steven Drew can get you, you know, some, you know, some crucial hits at time to time, but it's not going to be on a consistent basis. But, you know, what? he's going to be going to the New York Yankees as, you know, a bench piece. I don't think he's going to start, you know, this is Jeter season. Then you can start, you know, bringing up discussions if the Yankees are going to hold on to Steven Drew for next year, or you can end up having, you know, Martin Prado for the first time in his career play shortstop. I don't think so. I think second base is where he's at because that team's been struggling a lot over at second base since they missed out on Robinson Cano. So let me hear you guys' opinion about this as Martin Prado is on his way to the New York Yankees as the New York Yankees acquired him from the Arizona Diamondbacks. Peter O'Brien, who is going to be, who is a, a mid-level prospect. Um, he 
he's still, you know, going up into, you know, the rankings. I think he can be, you know, someone going down the line, but still needs a couple more years to develop down that, down, you know, triple A or double A, wherever, you know, what current level he's been on. Um, I heard he's been bouncing around from level to level this year. But Peter O'Brien is on his way to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Martin Prado is going over to the New York Yankees. Let me hear your guys' opinion about that, and I'll catch you guys in my next MLB trade deadline video.